Hey, I'm David Levin, and welcome to Pop Goes the Culture of the Behind the Scenes Showbiz Stories You Wouldn't Have Known from the Stars Themselves. Today, my chat with Anson Williams continues as we talk about the spin offs from Happy Days Laverne and Shirley, Joni Loves Chachi, Mork and Mindy, and of course, that means Robin Williams, the perspective from an eyewitness to the birth of that superstar. Uh, how about spin offs? Happy Days had a bunch. Happy, Happy Days had a lot of spin offs. Of course, Laverne and Shirley. Once, it, once the, because once Happy, Happy Days had a lot of spin-offs because once you have a successful show and a network's building, they want to build blocks, and the easiest way to build blocks is off a successful show. So, the, so Gary had this idea for uh, Laverne and Shirley, and used Happy Days to be able to to blast that off. Um, then, and and then there were there were um, a lot of series that didn't make it. Blansky's Beauties came off there that didn't make it. Uh, um, Something about the kids. What? Uh, there's something about the kids. No, before Joni loves Chachi, there was some with Jim Belushi. That didn't make it. Um, uh, Joni loves Chachi did for a second. It kind of went down. It didn't make it. Um, but one that really made it's Mark and Mindy, and that was a fluke. Uh, in fact, um, whenever we. Um, read a script for Happy Days. We'd, we'd, on, we'd read the script the week, the, 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 we'd read the script on Mondays. On Mondays we'd read the script that we're shooting that week and we'd read a script for the following week so they could rewrite it. Well, on one particular Monday there was a script called Mork for Mork and it was the, the first Star Wars, the first Star Wars came out and Gary Marshall's son wanted, asked his dad to do a segment about a spaceman. So they came up with this Mork for Mork, and it really wasn't a very good script. It was the worst script we've ever had. It's terrible. And um, everyone knew it was terrible, and they, you know, they, all right, they sidelined it. Well, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Well, the next Monday we read it, it's terrible, but we're doing it that week. So we start, and they, they cast some guy in the Mork part, and it was terrible. I mean, it was just not working. It was terrible. Wednesday, this guy quits. The guest star quits. So um, Al Molinaro knew a guy named uh, Robin Williams from Harvey Lembeck's class, and then Penny, and then not Penny, um, Ronnie Hall and Gary's sister knew. Oh yeah, I knew, anyway, they all knew this. Yeah, and uh, unrehearsed, uh, un, 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 not unrehearsed, but unread, they bring Robin Williams in the next day to play this part. This needed somebody. Now I was a few scenes into the show, so I came late for rehearsal. You could. It was like, I, I, it was intense. I walk open the door, all the writers are on the set. This is camera blocking day. We're shooting Friday night. No one's ever there. And they're like this. And there's Robin Williams improving the whole show. Improving the whole show. Nanu, nanu, on the head, do the thing, do the thing. Genius in front of you. I mean, absolutely improv the whole character. And the, the writers are furious, furiously writing everything down, writing it. Anyway, it was genius. It was like, it, it was like a, a light on the set. Well, what happened Friday night was one of the best shows in the history of the series. And the rest is history. The rest is history. Those two, I mean, between Thursday morning and Friday night created a superstar. Total fluke. You knew it when you saw it. Oh. No, I'm very, I, it was a big shining beam. And what happened was it was a chance for Robin Williams to do everything he's about. It's so hard to find that unique something where he could show his stuff and not be confined. There's a chance to be free. And man, he took it and he ran with it and did a genius job. And you know, the rest is just, there you Total go. Accident. Total accident. Total accident. Total fluke. Next time, the conclusion of my eight-part interview with Anson Williams. We'll talk about some of his other experiences as a director and an actor working with the legendary Betty Davis. And we talk about whatever happened to Richie and Joni Cunningham's older brother, Chuck. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.